Pan sharpening is an image processing technique that enhances the spatial resolution of an image. By fusing a high-resolution black and white panchromatic image with lower-resolution color imagery, you can achieve a much sharper output image. In this tutorial, I'm going to use Landsat imagery and show you how to use pan sharpening in ArcGIS Pro. All right, so here we are in ArcGIS Pro. First, I'm going to add my multispectral image. For Landsat data, it's really easy to do this because it has this MTL file. So I'll just drag and drop this into my map canvas. It's displaying my raster in RGB. So if I check out its properties, this is all the 30 meter bands. It includes the coastal aerosol, blue, green, red, near infrared, shortwave infrared, and cirrus bands. Next, I'm going to add my panchromatic band. So for Landsat data, this is band 8. I'll just drag and drop this into my canvas. So the panchromatic band is this black and white image you see. Let's just zoom into an area. I'm going to turn on and off my panchromatic band. Can you see the difference in spatial resolution? The multispectral image, which is the color imagery, is coarser. The color image has 30 meters resolution compared to 15 meters for the panchromatic band. So this sharper imagery is what we're going to leverage using the pan sharpening tool. To use pan sharpening in ArcGIS Pro, you'll have to go to the imagery tab. Then, select the raster function drop down, and then choose raster function. In the right side panel, you'll have to open the appearance drop down. Next, you can click the pan sharpen button. This opens up the pan sharpening tool. Our first input is the multispectral image. So I'm going to select our Landsat multispectral image. The second input is the panchromatic image. So we know that it's band 8 from our Landsat imagery. Let's select that band for the second input. Finally, we're going to have a range of options for the type of pan sharpening type and weights. I suggest you try a couple of them out, but I generally prefer the defaults. So let's push the Create New Layer button. It takes just a couple seconds to run. Okay, so let's check out the output raster. As you can see, the pan sharpened output looks sharper than the original. If you don't believe me, let's just zoom into an area. And I'll turn my new layer on and off. So there you have it. The pan sharpening tool enhanced the spatial resolution of the image, as it was supposed to do. Remember, if you want to save this output, you can do this by right-clicking the output layer. Then all you have to do is hover over Data and Export Raster. Alright, that's about all I want to show you in this video. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more great videos. I'll see you next time.